this course of our learning should be a panacea. This time, Lin Bayes. Lin Bayes and Medalla. Good morning, Jeff. Um, Lin Bayes and Medalla, four, four lines from the top. I'm a Reb Nassim. Reb Nassim says, I'm a tracks in Leichri, Leichacham, and Miklachim, Miklachot. So if you remember, we had a... Um, a discussion about the curtains that divided between the Heichal and the Kedesh HaKadashim. Now there were two curtains there. And the reason why there were two curtains is because in the first base of Migdash there was a wall. That was an Amma thick. The second base of Migdash, that Amma, where did it belong? Yeah. Would it belong inside or outside? So they made two curtains to keep it in the center. Okay. So we say like this. But nothing says, I'm a tracks in the Sages couldn't decide if it was inside the Kedesh Kadashim, that's where it belonged, if it belonged outside the Kedesh Kadashim, outside man the Hecha. Maske Floravina. So they made me this, they made it in the, in the middle. Maske Floravina, Ravina has a question to this. You see, the beginning of the, the way the Gemara understands this is they didn't know the, the head of HaKadoshim is 20 amas. The Heichal is 40 amas. They didn't know if one of the 40 amas included the Amatraxin or if one of the 20 amas included the Amatraxin. The Ravina is surprised by, by this question. He said, what is your, what is your issue? My timer, why do you have this question? Is it because we have a verse that says like this, the house that Shlema built, King Shlema built, was 60 amas long, 20 wide, I'm sorry, 20 mm-hmm. wide, and 30 high. Look, seven, there's another pasuk. Forty amas is the chamber, which is. Oh, oh yeah. Is that what you have in the in the No. No, but what does it say in the? Because you have the pesukim on the side somewhere. I have an old command. Lifnei Okay, yeah. There's a word that comes after that. Um, 40 Amis is the house, is the chamber, which is the chamber in front of, the Devir is going to be the curtain that's dividing the um, the Heichel and the Kedish HaKadoshim. Uksiv, and it's also written, And in front of the Devir, which means in front of the curtain, which means behind the curtain, is the, is the Kedish HaKadoshim. 20 amas long, 20 amas wide, 20 amas high. It's a problem over here because he said before that the house was 30 amas high. Now you're saying it's 20. It. Yeah, they hung it. It was hanging from the ceiling. Um, there's different answers. Uh, Tysus mentions this problem and he says maybe the roof, there's two, a few options here, but maybe the roof of the Kedusha um, was lower than the Heichal. I think maybe they were counting from the top of the Kruvim, which was 10 Amis. Okay. Um, so the second base of the Heichal was this tall. The second base of the Heichal was two Amis taller, I think. Why is it this? This is not the, the, um, this is not the second base of the Heichal. This is the first base of the Heichal. Yeah, because this is oh, the Shleim Hamela base of the Heichal. So what's the thirty or twenty? I'm sorry. So what was twenty? Oh no! So the Kedusha Kedushim is twenty high. The um, the Heichal is thirty high, but it's really it's one roof. So how did that happen? So we know that there's an attic in the Kedusha Kedushim, in the attic in the Heichal. Question is at what uh, at what level? Right. I think that it wasn't one of the king the king Yoyosh was uh, it was hid there, right? Okay. And we said also that they would lower people down to fix the walls and boxes. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
So Ravina is explaining the question. After he explains it, he's going to challenge it. But is, it, is this your problem? That you don't know where to put the Amma Traxin? Amma Traxin is the Amma that goes in the middle. Rashi says that the word Traxin means an entranceway. He says, Loshin Tnim the Chutz. Kachri Sintam Yishalm, you see that Rashi. Lamadnu Shahat Terek, Loshin Knisas Nimho. That uh, the traction is the entrance way. It's a track. Um, so, and you don't know where to place it. But Dilma, maybe. Like the jam. Ravina has an interesting suggestion. You don't know where to place it. You don't know if it's really, there's only 39 Amas in the Hechel because one of those Amas is Amitrax. And really there's 19 Amas in the Kedish collection because one of them, that's your question. Maybe the Hechel is 40 Amas. The Kedish Ekedoshim is 20 Amas. And Amatraxin is a different Amma. It's in between. Why do you why are you saying it has to be taken, it has to be absorbed into one of those? The whole thing is 61. The whole thing is 61. And I'll prove it to you. Teda, you see, he says, Khalalaka Khashiv, which means like living area, it's counting when it says not uh, including the walls, right? And you, that when you uh, when you buy a house and they tell you the square footage, are they including the walls? Yeah. Really? They measure from the outside, not your living space. Yeah, so that answers the question if they count in the washing machine in a dry area yeah, so they, in air conditioning. Okay, so, um, well, Ravina is suggesting that it's not like that. It's just, you know, a measuring tape from wall to wall. And Teda, I'll bring you a proof. The Kalhecha, the Kachashav Kaisalam, Kachashav Lala Didei. Designing, then you use uh -huh. only in the type of wall, uh -huh. given the square footage of the house, then you're measuring the full. Uh -huh. Interesting. But this is interior designing. Uh -huh. so that's why it is. Uh, Ramesha says this is interior designing, so that's why we're using just the, uh, <laughs> the inside space. So, uh, in the Azariah, because we actually count the size of the walls when we want to, when we want to count the, when we're discussing the area, we yeah. count the size of the walls. Take a look. The Tanana was taught in the Mishnah. The Hechal is 100 by 100. That's counting the outer, the entire. Okay, now it goes to the details. Kaisel Ulam Chamish. These are talking about Hamish. The wall of the Ulam. Professor, the picture yesterday would be applicable to this. The wall of the ulam is five amas. The ulam, ulam is the is the entrance, the, the front hallway um, that sticks out like the T, the top of the T that sticks out um, on both sides uh, in front of the hechel. So the ulam itself is eleven. Where are we holding? Is that sixteen? Five and eleven. Kaisel hechel sheish. The wall of the hechel is six. Are we holding? 16 and 6, 22. But Arkai Arbaimama. It's supposed to be Vitaichai Arbaimama. On the side, there's another gear sitting. And then we have 40 of the Hechel itself. So 22 plus 40 is 62. But Amatraxin, 63. Amatraxin, you see? That's the that's the the, the wall, the, the area in between the Hechel and the Kedesh HaKadash. And that's our big discussion. The Chafama. Base Kedush Hakadoshim. Then there's 20 Amas for the Kedush Hakadoshim. That was 63. It's now 83. Kaisel Hechel Sheish. And that means Kaisel Kedush Hakadoshim. It means the back wall. I'm calling it Kaisel Hechel because it surrounds the whole area. 83 plus 6 is 89. Bahata Sheish. Ha is in the wall. They used. Uh, they had storage chambers in the wall. It's called a ta. Small rooms. And the ta is another six. So 89 plus six is 
And then the back wall of the ta, which is that small room, is another five. So 95 and five is 100. It works out. So the Gemara, so what's, his, what's Ravina proving? Ravina's proving that you don't know where to put the Amatraxin. Is it part of the Hechel or is it part of the Kedashim? It's neither. It has its own Amma. It's an in-between. He says, Ella, Kedushasi, Kalifnimi, Kalachotz. The question wasn't where to place it. It wasn't a, uh, arch, uh, an architecture, uh, it wasn't a blueprint question. It was a spiritual question. What holiness does it have? Does it have the holiness of the inside? Or does it have the holiness of the outside? Can you say so, that the so what we're saying, we're asking, which, if you have two curtains, which one is the one that's marking it? Is it the one that's by the Heichal? And it's in the Amma is part of the Kedush HaKadosh in holiness? Or is it part of the Kedush HaKadosh, the one inside? It's really part of the Heichal. So Ravina redoes the question. And this fits with what Rabbi Yechanan says in the name of Rabbi Yosef Yishutzel. Now, Yosef Yishutzel is a Tana, as we'll see soon. The name is very important. Yosef Yishutzel. Hutzel is a city in, in uh, Babel. Yeah. So Rabbi Yechanan says that Yosef Yishutzel asked the following question. Just like this. The dvir, the curtain, is inside the house, inside the room. From inside, is prepared to place there the aron of the covenant, the ark of the covenant of Hashem. Now, Ipailu, I have a question. What is the pasuk saying? This is a question we have to put the comment. What is it? Okay. <laughs> so, Udvir Betaycha Bayas. You could read it like this. The Dvir which is the curtain, is inside the, inside the room. Mipnima hachin lasis sham, lasitin sham. Inside that mechitza is prepared an area for the aran. That means where is the dvir itself? If the dvir is the curtain, that's b'tay chabayas. Dvir b'tay chabayas. The bias is the heichal. The dvir is part of the heichal. Mipnima, from inside that area, means in, behind the curtain, is prepared to place the Kaidah Shakadashim to put the Aran. Oidil Ma'or maybe, Achikamer, it means like this. Udvir Betechabayas Mipnima. The curtain is in the house from inside, which means that the curtain is in the Kaidah Shakadashim, is part of the Kaidah Shakadashim area. Udvir uh, doesn't mean the curtain, it means a partition, it means a so there's two ways of reading the Pasuk. So that's what he's explaining. Where is the holiness of, what is the holiness of the Amitraks? Is it the Kedus HaKadoshim holiness or is it the Hebo holiness? Me, Misafkalei, is this really a question? Did, did Yosef Yishutzel have this question? Tanya, but we have a Brisa. Isi ben Yehudaimer, Isi ben Yehuda says, it's going to be hard to ask a question from a different opinion. No? Isi ben Yehuda says one thing. There's going to be a kasha on Yosef Yeshutzel. Well, let's see what it is. Let's use the same person as we'll see. <laughs> they told me um, there's two commentaries on the tour one is the, the Drisha. And one is the Prisha, two commentaries on the furniture. So um, they have the same father and the same mother. But uh, it's not brothers. Yeah, it's the same person. You're, you're up, uh, up okay.
There's five verses in the Torah that don't have any um, hechra. Any? No, any any deter determination, any uh, any decision, any decision. In other words, there's two ways of reading these. It's okay. Seis. Mishukade makar aror become. Those are the five. So the seis is if you do well, it will be lifted. Now that could mean you'll be forgiven. This is talking about kayan, right? Let's say to the seis. Something as a chavetz then it says, or it could be seis im leisetiv, im leisetiv, seis im leisetiv. That would mean that you're going to carry guilt. So the seis means that you're going, your sin will be remembered, or seis means that you'll be forgiven. Mishukadim. It says arba gviim mishukadim. Kaftira upracha. There's four cups. Mishukadim um, means. Um, means uh well, that's what it says in the shape of an okay so is it talking about that the cups have that uh have that uh decoration or is it talking about the bulbs and the blossoms after heaven because it says mishakadim and you don't know which side it's referring to machar it says until he's going to daven. He tells Yeshua, go and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow, I will stand in, in this is saying, I will stand in, in front of Hashem and pray. Does that mean that go and fight with Amalek now and tomorrow I will stand? Or go and fight with Amalek tomorrow, I will stand. Aror, um, Aror Avram, this is by the, the blessings that Yaakov does to his sons when it comes to Shimon and Levi. It says, uh, So is it talking about Ikru Shar Aror, the cursed Shar? Or is it referring to Aror um, Apam? Cursed is their anger. And then it says, Behold, you're going to lie with your fathers and then get up. That would be referring to Tiasa Mason. Or you're going to lie with your fathers, become Ha'amazah. And then this nation will get up. Depends where you put the comma. You could read these verses. Bohatanya. So far, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? So what? We have five verses that we don't know. And we have another verse. He says, no. The problem is because Bohatanya, we have a Brysa. Who Yasef Yeshutzel, who Yasef Ababli? Yasef Yeshutzel has another name. It's called Yasef Ababli. Who Isi ben Yehuda? He's also Isi ben Yehuda. Apparently, Isi is a nickname for Yosef. Hmm. You hear? Isi. <laughs> Who Isi ben Goraye? Now, he's called Isi ben Yehuda because Yehuda is uh, what could be, it goes together with Goraye. Goraye Yehuda, right? It's a lion cup. Who Isi ben Gamliel? Okay, I don't know how that got there. But um, who Isi ben Mahalalo? Omar Shemai, but what's his real name? Isi ben Akiva Shemai. So, What's our question? Our question is, is that Yosef Yeshutzel, <laughs> Yosef Yeshutzel um, is the same person as Isi ben Yehuda. Now, Rabbi Yechanan says that Yosef Yeshutzel has a question. How do you read that verse? Does, do we say that the curtain is within the Kedush HaKadashim, or do we say that the Kedush HaKadashim is within the curtain? That was the question, and how to read that verse. The problem is, is that we have another statement that Isi ben Yehuda says that there are five verses. He gives a number. There's five verses in the Torah that we don't know how to determine. Now, if there's only five, then that means there isn't six. And Rabbi Yechelen quotes him as, as saying another uh, another question, another question on the verse. So the Gemara answers, but there is a You're right. In the Torah, we only have five. But in the prophets, we have another one. The prophets is in Malachim. Really? In the Torah, you don't have more? We have another one. The boy Rav Chizda. Rav Chizda has a question. 
Parim. Okay, you can read this passage like this. Um, They brought oilers. Then there was kvasa. We didn't say what the oilers were. All of them were parim. That's one of the possibilities, that the oilers were parim as well. Um, or we say no. They brought the oilers that were kvasa. And then parim. And then the shlamim would have just parim themselves talking about the sacrifices that they brought. So the Gemara answers, we said, okay, we have another verse that we can't determine. The Rav Chizda Masafkele, Lisa Ben Yehuda Pshitle. You're right, Rav Chizda had other questions, but Lisa Ben Yehuda, yeah, he didn't have this question. Now we have the answers to all of these questions because we have the trap. Why didn't they have trap? So then that one question yeah, officially, the Trump should have been a tradition from uh, Now, the Trump, did everyone know? The, the song, the, 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 the melody of the Trump, not Trump, no. the melody of the Trump is not necessarily uh, that old, but the concept of the Trump is, in other words, what the Trump does. So it's important to learn how to read the Torah, even if you don't, can't sing, because the Trump um, punctuates, uh, tells you where to stop, what words are connected, right? So this would, this would help, the truck would, would give us the answers to this. Okay. We have a new Mishnah. And remember we're talking about that the Kayin Gadlu would walk through the Heichal, and we had different options which way he went, through the, which, in between which vessels he walked through. Um, Rabbi Huda held that he walked in between the Mizbeach and the Menaira, which was on the south. But he didn't walk along the wall because he didn't want to get his clothing dirty. So the outer one was propped up on the south, Trufa Minadarim. But the inner curtain was propped up. I'm translating Prupa. Prupa is prop. Because <laughs> it rhymes. It, it, uh, it matches, not rhymes. It, uh, it corresponds to the English. Um, and Mahalach Binayim, he would walk between them. That means he would, according to Rabbi Huda, this fits well. Because Rabbi Huda says that he walked on the south side. So it, it would be an opening there that he could get in. He would walk in between would be like a tunnel when you have a pizza. Right. So according to Rabbi Huda, it was on the south, so he would go in, enter on the south side and walk all the way along till he got to the north and then he would come out on the other side. Mahalach um, Mnei until he reached the north. He reaches the north. He turns around to the south. Mahalach L'smailoi Ima Parechas. That means um, he walks, I guess it means to his left, his curtain is on his left, the curtain is on his left. Achumagilarn until he reaches the Arun. We're gonna see. There's gonna be a slight problem here, but uh Gila Arun, he reaches the Arun, Naisanasamach the Bin He puts the fire pan down between the two staffs of the Arun. Staves. Is that how you pronounce it? Staves? Staves. Really? Don't mix me up with the spelling. <laughs> okay. Savara Secretaris. It isn't by the core. Well, yes, sir. Yeah, but it means the core. But. Um, so, 
that's a good question. I think it's the east, but let me see. No, the no, east the side east. is on the, is next to the curtain. The west side is side? is the further to, in, the into the in, closer to the wall. Right. That's what I think. I think if he's close to the curtain, then he's putting it on the east side. He says he's walking along the curtain. So, um, Tzavres HaGecholim Al-Akhtaris, he piles the Tzavres HaGecholim Al-Akhtaris, piles the Tzavres HaGecholim, when the Smali Kolobais Kolashon, the whole house fills with the smoke. Yatsa, he goes out. Kabaloi, the Derech Kenisasa, comes the same, he comes back the same way he came in. Um, he walks backwards. And um, he says a small prayer in the Hechel. He shouldn't not say a long prayer. So the Habe says, he's not to scare the, the people that maybe he didn't make it. Is that the chunk that yeah. he didn't make it? Or maybe this that uh, he sees something that's going to be difficult this year? I don't know what the... Yeah, they said there was this hostage that would have been very long. So they wanted to go, they needed to, to leave. They, so they sent someone inside to see where he's up to. So they said, he's up to by Yvarek David. So they asked him, is he up to by or is, is he up to David? <laughs> they said it so slow, and like, it made a difference. <laughs> Okay, the Maya Skinan. What are we? Uh, what are we dealing with here? Elaim of the Mikdash Rishon. If we're dealing with the first space of Mikdash, we have a Parechas. There's no Parechas in the first space of Mikdash. It was a, a stone wall, right? He said the second base of Mikdash there was a curtain that divided the first space of Mikdash was a wall. Ella be Mikdash Sheni. So you must be talking about the second base of Mikdash. Okay, great. So, but then we have Aaron. We have Aaron. Second base of English didn't have the Aaron. It mm-hmm. says you're supposed to put it down between the stat stave of the Aaron. But it was taught in the Bryce Mishnah Nignaz, Aaron Nignaz, Yimitz and Tennis, and Mount Slech Hashem, Shemin and Mishra, Makwe Shalan, Shkede, Prochel, but argues to struggle with the Dermal K. Israel. We have a Bryce. When the Aaron was hidden, we can see when in a moment. Together with it was hidden the drug of Mun that was put there as a, as a remembrance. The bottle of of oil, of anointing oil, and the staff of Aaron together with the blossoms and the almonds. And there was also a chest that the Plishtim sent as a present to Hashem when they gave back the Aaron that they captured. When they gave it back, it came back with the present. but they gave this gold together um, as a gift, and they uh, they sent it back to come back with the uh, with the animals that were that were taking the iron back to the to the Jewish people. Umi Gonzai, and who hid the iron in all of these things? Yeshio Gonzai, because Yeshio was one of the kings. Mara Shiganzu, what did he see that caused him to 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 hide? Rosh Kasev Yelach Hashem Eisach Bes Malkacha Asher Takem Alacha Ima. The Gunzu. Apparently, he saw a verse in the Torah that says that Hashem's going to take you and the king that you established, it's going to take you away, which means he understood that there was going to, they were going to go into exile. Now, it's possible that Yeshio found the Torah scroll and it started this whole religious revival. You know, he found the, the Torah in the Heichel Hashem. They were, they were doing renovation. Now, um, it could have been that Sefer Dvarim was lost. They didn't have Sefer Dvarim or something. Anyway, he finds this, or maybe it was an original, and they read it. They, they read it, um, and they, it became like uh, everyone should return to Hashem. Now, when he opened it up, it could be that he opened it up to that verse that says that you're going to be taken out. 
So he went and he hid the he hid it. He didn't want it to be taken cap uh, uh, captured. Shenemar vayemila levim amivinim lachol Yisrael hakadoshim laHashem tenu asar in hakadosh bebayis or shabanu shlemi ben David melech Yisrael in lachem masa bekaset at ivdu es Hashem lekich masam Yisrael. Um, he says to take when it says tenu asar in hakadosh bebayis put the aron into the house. What he means is to hide it. Now, how do you know all the other things to hide? It says, Vama Rabbi Lazar, Asya Shama Shama. He had Xer Shava Shama Shama. It says by the Aran, Yvoid Lacha Shama Al Mikotsky there. And also says by the Man, the Ten Shama, you should place it there. Malaya uh, uh, a measurement of the Man. So he knows that the Man is supposed to should go with it. Then it also has Dairus Dairus. It says by the Man, the Dairus Seicham, and it says by the oil. Uh, um, also, Doris. And then it says, Rasi Mishmeres Mishmeres. And it also says, Gzir Shava for Mishmeres by the Tzimtzene Saman. It says Mishmeres. And it also says by the staff of Aaron for Mishmeres. Mishmeres, uh, 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 yeah, a guarding for, for, for all times. This is all the things that were hidden. So the question is, if there's no Aaron, so why did the Mishnah say that he walks along the Parechas until the Aaron and he puts it between the staves? Wasn't there one bit we discussed that there were two? Another Aaron? Yeah. Yeah. But that one wasn't, I don't know if that one was in the Kedusha Kedusha. The Gemara says, It is the second base of Mikdash. The Mahi Giel Aaron, what does it mean he reached the Aaron? Makim Aaron doesn't mean actual Aaron. It means the place where the Aaron would have been. Problem is, Akhtani Nasan as a machl ben shnei abadim, but it says he put it between the two staves. Ema kebein shnei abadim, like between the two staves, as if they were there, as into the same spot. Talking about a kind of walking, basically, and hero. Yeah. Wow. And he shakes. Some of them don't even make it out alive. And there's not even an Aaron. Now they, they follow the circles. Yeah. They six feet apart. Savar Sakteris Al Gabi Gachalim. That was in two places recently. One was in certain hospital the parking lot before you had to get to the front the thing. They have these circles that you have to follow, follow the circles. Then in the airport parking, you know you have to follow these lines. So, he piles up the k'tayras on top of the coals. Tanan, command Amr Tzavra. Tani chad the tzavra p'nima. Shuh chutz alay. Tani idach tzavra chutz alay. Shuh p'nima alay. First of all, there's two options. Does he pile it up? And, or does he sprinkle it in? Our Mishnah says that he piles it up. Remember... We said there was a difference on how quickly the smoke would get out. If you piled it up, then it would take a moment for the smoke to go up because it would have to get through the, the pile. Or he would spread it thin and then the smoke would go right away. So here it says Tanan Kamanda Matab. The only thing is that when he piles it up, does he pile it right next to him? Because there's a pan. Or does he pile on which side does he pile it on? Because he has a scoop full like this, and he has a fire pan which is like this. But where does, exactly does he put it? So, one Bryce says that he puts it pnima, more inside, which means further away from him. The other Bryce says that he does it more outside, which means which yeah. means closer to him, because he's more closer to the outside. Amar Abaya, Abaya says, Tanoi, it's a machlekes. Amar Abaya, Mestabra, Kamanda, Amar Pnima, Shuchutzlai. Probably he piles it up further away from him. The Tanan, because we start in the Mishnah, Malam de Maisai, they were training Hizar to be careful. 
<laughs> this is on a regular, uh, when he does the kataras, he would, and he puts the coals onto the, onto the uh, mizbeah, onto the mizbeah of me. And then he would put the kataras on. So if you start over here, work your way out, then the fire is already starting to burn here. It could burn your, uh, the arms. So you should start at the end and then work your way back. Right. The cold solar burning. There's cold safety. The coals are in the fire pan. He's not emptying them on the floor. It's just putting down the fire pan. No, he put the coals are in the pan. He puts the kataris on top. When he puts the pile the kataris? No. The coals are in the pan. He's not adjusting them. Okay. It's the incense that he's putting in. Yeah. So we're saying that he's going to pile it up further in, further in, so that he doesn't, when he moves his hands back, he doesn't get burnt. Now, it's not 100% clear because if, we, if he's piling it up, then wherever he piles it up, he just takes his hands away. Yeah, so there's something going on over here. Nope, so. I know, but if I put it right here, it's also good because I can just come on. Or if I put it there, maybe nope, there were two steps. Maybe first you put it down, and then afterwards you would spread it out. That's what I'm saying. Put it down. Yeah, slowly. Another problem with shot. First, to put it down and then spread it out. If that's the case, then you would have to start at the end. Okay. Yeah, that would not work. 